Hi and welcome back to Inside RG. You've seen that, have you? Should we go inside? So this unlisted cottage dates back to probably 1750, 1760, something like that. You've got an entrance porch and then straight into the hall, bathroom there off to the left, a steep narrow staircase going up to two bedrooms above, and then you've got a uh, swing around to the right here, would have been the original sitting room, now dining room, a snug, very cosy little room, a double aspect with the window there through to the side, you've got exposed beams, and decent head height, a couple of the doors are a bit low, that one there is going into the kitchen, but I'm six foot two and a half plus heels, and generally not a problem at all. Um, so you could tweak those doorways and you can lift them where they are an issue, or you just learn to duck, hang something from them soft to uh, remind you. Swinging around anyway, you're coming into the uh, fireplace, and someone at some point has put a Victorian metal duck's nest style fireplace there. Got a mirror leaning against it. Um, this room, 10 foot by 9 foot 8 from memory. Then we're going into a kitchen breakfast room. This area here is a breakfast area, or it can just be a sitting snug area. And swing around, a surprisingly light room. You're north at the back here. They've done some clever bits up on the roof there. You can see it here. It comes uh, vaulted and semi-glazed. They put some skylight windows in. So flooded with natural light. Those are modern units. They're high gloss white. And you've got corner carousels, uh, pull out larder covers, what have you. Then coming around, going into an extension, not sure of the date, previous to our client, and they've been there 30 years, into the sitting room, 13 foot 11 by 11 foot 6. Um, again, a dust by aspect room. Here you've got patio doors going out to a covered um, deck area. It's got a plastic uh, cover to it, so it keeps the dew off at night. And what a wonderful place to sit for a drink of an evening. And then my client replaced the original conservatory this beauty, it's UPVC double glazed, uh, polycarbonate roof there, and glorious outlook, and there's all the gardens going out to the front. Um, I'll give you a swing around now and show you them. A, the garden extends to about an acre, we haven't measured it, but it must be about that, I would think. Um, it's lawns, it's uh, meadow areas, it's flower beds, it's formal areas, informal cottage areas. Really is quite enchanting and been a labour of love for our client. Coming through back into the sitting room, get a better idea of it. It'll lighten up in a minute probably. Uh, there we go. Uh, so a big angle fireplace with a wood burning stove in there. There's the window back into the dining room and door there to the kitchen. And we've got a couple of uh, feature beams there. Swing around. Um, conservatory was 10 foot 9 by 9 foot 6. No, 10 foot 6. And then that covered area was 12 foot 10 by 9 foot 7. Into the bathroom here, unmeasured, uh, modern corner suite. Um, and nice stained glass window, which uh, my client had made. Nice little uh, feature there. Now going upstairs, we're top of the stairs. You've got eaves, cupboards uh, on the left-hand side here or on the back. We're into bedroom one here. Uh, not huge, 10 foot 10 by 10 foot 4. But it's a double room, it's double aspect. My client's replaced all the windows, um, or had them bespoke made, oak framed, uh, in keeping. They've colour washed the beams there, which is nice. Uh, again, good ceiling height. So you've got Eve's wardrobe behind me now, and you've got a built-in wardrobe there in the corner. And then moving on, I'm going to go on to the second bedroom as it is at the moment. Uh, big single, 10 foot 9 by 7 foot 3. Again, you've got some Eve's cupboards there on the right. As I swing around again and replace this placed window, and another built-in wardrobe coming up in a while. Now, of course, being unlisted, no reason why you can't extend this in every which way direction you fancy. If you want, all subject to planning, your rather council here. Um, they're quite OK, that should be fine. So that's the house. And now I'm going to take you for a walk around the garden, which will take us long. So this is from the road, large, expansive parking area. Get loads of cars on that. Then you're going to come round to a single detached garage there. 
internal measurements 16 foot 3 by 9 foot 7 and then on to I can't build a double car porch barn thing uh, 17 5 by 16 foot 4 uh, plus a storeroom at the end there you can see which is 16 4 by 5 foot 9 and then you've got this long path down to the cottage cottage is the back of the plot rose arbor on the right hand side there uh, and I'm going to swing around to give you an idea again of the gardens. That is all yours. Everything you can see there is yours. You've got tree lines down the end. You've got lots of specimen trees that I can't put in. You've got weeping willows, eucalyptus, old, oh, endless. And then shrubs that's gone forever. And you say that's a formal veggie patch there. You could move that. You could lawn it. Greenhouse, obviously. Um, this is at the back of the house now. And they're made into a Mediterranean-style garden. So for alfresco entertaining, superb. You've got an outside detached utility room store and you've got another workshop onto that. And here comes the floor plan. If you want a view, give us a call or send us an email. Thank you very much. Bye.